Alright, what's going on guys? I'm going to check out the new Crisis Core Reunion trailer. This trailer came out yesterday. It's all about 30 seconds or so of stuff during the Nintendo Direct, so I thought I'd give my full reaction of the trailer, so let's check this thing out. Alright, T for Teen. Okay, not bad on the new voice actor. It's okay. Dude, Nibelheim? Look at that. Dude, all the houses have been completely redone. Alright, that was the Mako reactor. This is um, Junin. Damn, is this in Modeoheim? All the lighting and everything is completely different. All these summons are redone. Dude, the Marlboro, holy shit. All this battle stuff looks amazing. All of this battle gameplay looks phenomenal. My friend, your desire. Okay, new Genesis. Just a little. Sounds a lot like NGO. Trademark. Oh, you. <laughs> Color of the sky, right? But not scary at all. A new voice actor. Uh, me and Cloud. I saw that during the Nintendo Direct. Has betrayed us as well. Angeo wouldn't betray us. Never. If people had wings, they'd be monsters. Wings? They don't symbolize monsters. Sisney! Your glory should have been mine. How petty. In hindsight, perhaps. Dude, she looked amazing. Well, look who's here. Hojo's completely redone. Depending on what happens, I may abandon Shinra. Angels dream of one thing. Please tell me. Dude, these character models. Legend shall speak. Oh my god, the detail. On the degradation of the coat right there. That's right, December 13th. I saw that in Nintendo Direct. That's pretty cool. Like, literally three months away. Three months away and we're going to be there. Um, but, like, yeah, all that stuff looks... Uh, whoa, Max, what are you doing here? I got to turn autoplay off. But... <laughs> I'm going to watch a little bit of Max, whatever. Um, Okay, so like, yeah, all the battle stuff looks phenomenal. The character renders look really, really good. It's the voice acting that I'm a little weird about, to be honest. Uh, I want to just go back and watch some stuff here. Okay, so what was that? Yeah, here's where it kicks in. Let me just listen to this now. It looks like they're trying to touch these up a bit, but but you know those cutscenes still hold up. But just a little. A soldier trademark. Oh, you. <laughs> it's no longer dark in that area. Let's right do that screenshot. Good news, song. Me and Cloud. It means Okay, hold on. Let me hear that again. It's just a little funny, man, like the mouth movements and then the tone of the voice. And... Cloud. It means Angeal has betrayed us as well. Angeal wanted... uh, it's not as good as George Newburn, man. Hold on. It means Angeal has betrayed us as well. Angeal wouldn't betray us. Never! If people had wings, they'd be monsters. Wings, they don't symbolize monsters. I can't get over how good Cisne looks, dude. She looks, look at the detail in her tie. Dude, this render is like too good. It almost makes me think like maybe she's gonna appear in Rebirth. I have no idea, but like the suit, the detail on this tie, man, this is like, this is definitely Unreal Engine, man. She looks amazing. 
glory should have been mine. How petty. In hindsight, perhaps. So the Genesis, the new Genesis guy, he's okay, the new Genesis voice actor, but he sounds like he's kind of overdoing it. Like he's being, I get that he read poetry, but he's being too Shakespearean about his like pronunciation of things. In hindsight, perhaps. What the hell did you do, Amdeal? Okay, all right. I don't know about that. What the hell did you do, Amdeal? See, this scene was like really significant to me when I was first playing this game. When Rick Gomez delivered the lines for this scene, it was so powerful. It was so good. And um, I don't know about this scene right here, man, for sure. It. Did you do, it sounds like passable, right? It doesn't sound like Emmy award winning. It sounds passable. Uh, maybe I could heat up to it. Hang on, man. This scene's a big deal if you can't tell it from me. It's a big deal. What the hell did you do, Amdeal? Well, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Look who's here. Depending on what happens. I like the new Hojo voice actor. Yeah, a lot of the people just kind of sound like imitations. A lot of the new voice actors and things like that, they just sound like imitations. Um, you know, like the new Zack voice actor... Let me listen to this. He sounds good in, like, lines that don't need a ton of emotional delivery, but when it comes to, like, super emotional stuff, stuff where you really gotta, like, it's go time, you gotta nail it, It's, I don't know, man. It's a little, it's a little weird. I'm not going to lie. But, you know, the game, like, in closing, man, I, I'm ripping on these guys a lot. But in closing, like, everything, the, the maps, the new renders of the backgrounds and things, the character models, all this stuff looks phenomenal. It looks really, like, this right here, dude, holy shit. Yeah, the new park scene where, yeah. Sector is opened up here, dude. This looks really, really good. You can't deny it. I mean, it when they try to like put it in with the cutscenes and stuff, sometimes it doesn't look the best. Me and Cloud. Sometimes it looks a little bit rough. Has betrayed us as well. But I mean, like for the most part, it it's us. it's an improvement. If people had wings, they dude, look at um. Oh man, Sector 8, dude, Robson's. This is like that little truck, right, where you can get the tires and everything. This is, um, this is supposed to be Loveless Avenue, pretty sure, with, um, I don't know why this says Robson's. Isn't it supposed to be Goblin's Bar? I don't know, but this looks, this looks so much better than the original, so much better. Look at that fountain in the background. Can I slow this down, man? Let me get some, get some of that sweet playback. Yeah, Sector 8 fountain right here. Yeah, and then this is in the, the basement of the Mako reactor. I just want to see if I can pick up on any uh, other little details and things like that. It's completely redone. The Lazard's director's office, this looks redone. Um, okay, let's go back here a little bit. I want to check out some of these early battle scenes. So yeah, this is Nibelheim right here. This is definitely Nibelheim. And look at that, all the houses are completely redone. All the magic effects are completely redone. There's even these character portraits for the DMW are redone. 
the assault twister. Yeah, this is at the end of June and when Hollander's escaping. Yeah, that's the remake model. It looks like it. Maybe a little toned down in texture, but yeah. And what do we... This is what I want to see right here. Looks like Modeoheim. It's going to be right after this. Yeah, man, this, this original scene right here was very like red and brown and rusty. And now it looks completely different, like high tech. And yeah, obviously the flashback. And then this is, um, oh yeah, this, I wanted to look at this. This is, uh, what is it? What do they call this summon again? I can't remember. It's not Neo Bahamut, it's, um, I can't remember it. This Marlboro looks amazing. I wonder if this is going to be the Marlboro and Rebirth, dude. Okay. All right, summon DMW. And yeah, all these summon cutscenes have been completely redone. All these look really, really good. All right, and then I'll just do like a once over. Honestly, can you look at the Genesis copies at all in this scene? Here you see the Genesis clones down here. It is looking like phenomenal uh, from a gameplay standpoint, from a battle system standpoint, and that's the majority of the game. Uh, I do. We all do appreciate the story and the music and the characters and things like that. But uh, you know, three hundred missions or whatever that you have to do, uh, the gameplay looks completely revamped and. Um, you know, redone in terms of the visuals and things like that. So I really, really like that. I really do. Um, voice acting and some of the cutscenes and the new models, I feel like it's a little rough around the edges, but it should be, it should be okay. I think it'll, I think it'll work out. I'm, I'm hopeful. But yeah, yeah, it's just going to look, it looks so good, man. It looks a lot better than I thought it would look, to be honest, um, when we got the next trailer. I thought they were going to show this off at TGS, but yeah. Uh, looking really good gameplay wise. So I'm still planning on getting it. Still planning on uh, buying multiple copies of the game, you know, especially one for Switch. Might wait for the Switch one to go on sale. And then, you know, like a PC one if I want to do a playthrough with the old voices and experience that, which I, I probably will end up doing. But yeah, it's looking so good, man. And this is one of my favorite games of all time, along with the original Final Fantasy VII. So I'm really looking forward to it. So thanks for tuning in and thanks for watching my reaction, guys. Okay. Take care. Have a great day.